Hey everyone, this is Robin Holstein. This week's Let's Draw is a space crew that finds themselves in a horrible situation. So let's get to it. Robin Holstein here. Uh, I want to say that I finally figured out how to fix the frame rate um, syncing up with the audio and the video. So enjoy that. Uh, right now I'm just booking it on these pencils and I am using the blue pencil uh, today or I guess the week, I'm, the entire week that I'm recording this thing. Uh, blue Pencil is just a holdover from when the photocopier was used in the comic uh, process back in the day. Uh, they used a non-photo blue, which is a lighter blue uh, that the photocopiers couldn't pick up. So uh, all they were left with was the inks when they made a copy. These days we just use Photoshop um, and it just does the same thing. Probably hearing that beeping sound. No clue what that is, especially at. I think it's like almost. It's like 5:45, almost 6 a.m. It's a little easier when you can see in the thumbnail what I was talking about, where um, they're going to be mostly white, and then it goes black behind them with a little bit of white behind this guy, um, just to pop him for, um, forward off the background. So, yeah. I'm going to keep this a little bit more even like an accordion. All right, so this is cloth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, or canvas, I should say, um, for this one. And so the feathering from transition from light to dark is going to be a little bit longer, longer feathering. But I'm going to allow that dry brush to happen because so it feels more canvassy. It's interesting working on a uh, tech for um, spacesuits. There's a lot of cool reference out there. There's definitely a lot of ways to go about it. I kind of wanted to go more and of course you want to go believability. I mean. trying to make this like a real real enough scene as possible like I want you to feel for these folks I, I double booked myself for that weekend so Silicon Valley Comic Con is the same weekend um, as the the Oakland Marathon so I won't I will show up later that day uh, for the convention Kind of burned through my material in the first three episodes. I thought this would become easier talking. Eh, it kind of has come easier talking, just talking normally. Um, though content for talking. Yeah, no clue. I need to remember to do this like every video. Okay, so um, a brush I'm using is the Hunt 8404. Hunt, oh, 8404. No, it's not, Robin. Raphael 8404, uh, number one. And it's a Kalinsky hairbrush, which is a real hairbrush. Um, it's a better brush than a synthetic. So if you can go for a Kalinsky um, type inking brush, uh, you'll be better off. Yeah, really try playing around with your brush. See like what mark making you can, you can do. Turning on its side allowing it to dry, <clears throat> what effects you get, um, loading it up and like um, flicking it, you can like flick it or you can tap it to get splatters. There's quite a bit of stuff you can do. You can 
have nice organic lines. You can do straight lines. At least you can with the Raphael pretty easy. Might be a little harder to do with uh, um, other types of brushes because um, different Kalinsky brushes act differently. And I definitely haven't tried them all. I've only really tried uh, the Windsor Series 7. That's what I started off on. And then it was recommended uh, to try the 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 RAF 8404. And then the brow, um, since it's uplit, so that's going to get white, but the forehead's going to get black again. That blown, leave that blown out for the hair. Okay, put in some, just dirty it up. I think I've been talking about my cat in the past videos. Um, so she was diagnosed with cancer, she had a tumor in her uh, nasal cavity, which can happen to cats, come to find out. Um, she was having a hard time breathing. <clears throat> and, uh, and it was a lymph lymphoma cancer, which is, you know, cancer that attacks the lymph nodes, which is your immune system. Um, they said it can go one of two ways. It could be all over her body or it could just be concentrated um, into like a single tumor in her nose, which is a better case scenario. And that's what we got, thankfully. She, um, so right now she's like halfway through her uh, radiation ther uh, treatment. I have to take her in for 16 days straight. Well, my wife takes her in. I go to work. Uh, to pay the medical bills. <laughs> yeah, um, but she's doing much better. Yeah, with all this clean line work, it's gonna look really nice, like having those like splatters and stuff just to bring that organic dirtiness back into it. It's gonna be a nice contrast. desk room. So all those guides that I threw down, can you see that? No, I don't know. I don't think you can. Well, I can see it. Um, even though I'm laying black on top of these lines, I can see the I can still see those lines coming through. It just requires me not to um, to lay this black down in one pass. 
because if I do it multiple passes, it will, it will diminish the line. Looks like it's working. This works better laying down with uh, the smaller end. It's not as much ink coming out all at once. I just did it with uh, the chiseled end, and I can't really see the the guide as much in those areas. reflections and spotters on all of their masks later <clears throat> or their helmets that glass So I'm learning more about Snapchat and um, we'll see how it goes because I'm going to be using it, but I'm not going to be using it, I guess, how teenagers use it. I was like reading a, an article from BuzzFeed, um, the guy who wrote it enlisted uh, his sister who's 13 and one of her friends to talk about um, how he can get better at Snapchat. And they were going through their use for it. I'm like, oh, it kind of hurt my soul. Um, I was just remembering, I'm like, oh, I remember having that much time on my hands uh, when I was younger. Like how they use Snapchat, I can't do that. Um, so sorry folks uh, who are following me on Snapchat, I can't respond back with, I don't know how I feel about responding back with uh, um, a selfie all the time. It just goes against my nature. I don't think I'm gonna drop black yet. I'm gonna hold off. Ah, sorry. Bumping the camera. There you go, steady -o.
There's probably some other interesting shows. Walking Dead. Love Walking Dead. Um, I think I know some people who kind of just left it at season one or two and just never followed up because they just think it's just zombies only, but Walking Dead has like some awesome acting in it. And, you know, the zombies are kind of just more of a force of nature. And it's about these people just trying to survive. And then, you know, the people are really the main threat. You can The zombies, they've learned to cope with because they're more predictable. But now we're starting to season... God, I don't know what season we're on. Five? Six? Mid, the mid-season premiere is going to happen pretty soon on Valentine's Day. And uh, you bet that my wife and I will be watching it. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like zombies. At least there'd be chocolate maybe watching the show. <clears throat> so with... Uh, um, the undead astronaut, his hand is going to be surrounded in black. So when I'm inking, I'm not really paying attention to the line, really. I'm paying attention to the white space um, that butts up against that line, because that's what's going to show. Definitely don't want to go thicker than that line. So all the lines are pretty much going to be pretty even. Um, it's more about creating a structure and uh, creating an even line. So it, it just creates uh, a variant and, um, and it differentiates it from the rest of the, the drawing.
That was kind of soothing doing this part. Just little circles, even spacing. That's all I need to do. I wonder if I actually have a... I hardly ever use these. But it would be nice to find one that matched. Now this kind of looks like one that would match. That top circle there. That won't be able to use the nib. Because <clears throat> the ink, when I lay down the ink, because this is fl uh, flush to the paper, the ink will pool underneath and like smear. So I don't want that. This point five five. I think that works. Or gal. Not sure where I'm giving my tools gender, but whatever. Sort of micron makes sense. Yeah, some, a lot of times I don't plan for um, doing effects like this. I kind of just feel it in the moment. I'm like, you know, it will look cool if it... Um, so, like, <clears throat> thankfully this paper has enough texture, so if I'm zippy... This, this area is going to become black anyways. So if I'm zippy, get a nice fade. Gonna take the nib and start uh, filling in this background. Dusty ruler, squeaky chair, check. Best part of waking up, drawing comics with you guys. Well, this isn't a comic, but how about inking? So I notice it's better to line up the ruler and then slightly tilt it. That's a better pra best practice. Yeah, you guys won't find this funny as I am, but I'm like, I'm blown away that I actually, I never use those. And I actually, I just randomly started using them for this and they actually make sense. The last time I used them was, God, a decade ago. Probably in drawing one class. I'm gonna use those some more, especially mechanical stuff. <clears throat> Protect. There we go.
going through grit everyone up. <clears throat> I have to come back and do this with the white as well. too much. Kind of loses the appeal when it's just everywhere. So I'm going to lay in more blacks, finish the blacks, and then I have to go back in with the white splattering. I've been inked. Whoops. The white takes a lot longer to dry. So I have to be careful where I lay my hand down. Just cleaning up that nose a little bit. I don't mind that it's dark. I just need a little bit of uh, some tweaking. Okay, let's try this again. Much better, okay. I think I can hit up all this mesh now.
Do you like my masking? It's more going to the places that, like here, like where the pipe, like it broke up the line, so I want to bring that line back. It's just structural. Um, I guess integrity. <clears throat> A little too strong. It was standing out too much. So the eye was drawing to it. That's better. Oh, where? Oh, where did you sign? Right here. Yeah. Let's do it up in this paneling here. Made by me. All right, everyone, this wraps up uh, Let's Draw number four. Um, subscribe, and you're going to have materials um, that I put on my blog. So if you want to know what I'm using, uh, check it out. And um, please, you know, like any part of the support is if you buy stuff through me. Um, I get some kickback and then, um, and then, yeah, check out, uh, some of the other videos, uh, please look into ways to support me, especially, uh, go to like, check out my support video or go to my support page, um, at, on my website. Yeah. There are many, uh, tiers and ways that you can help me. Um, some have some lower impact and some have a higher impact, but it's all help. So like, share, and subscribe is a great way for you um, to spread uh, the message of what I'm doing. And then um, if, like two, two big, the biggest supports for me is if you buy from my shop, if you support me through my Patreon page, which I hope to have up on launch because that's a great way for you to support me. Uh, yeah, so I think this one turned out like this Let's Draw was pretty great and um i want to continue like this quality um so yeah i need your help you're supporting me to uh go into comics i do this on the side right now you know i wake up at 4 30 um, on the weekdays and work till 8 and then i go to my day job um, so i can support myself and my wife i come home and i work more um, content for y'all to enjoy my day job is an animator and i'm making a switch over to i want to be creating comics um, as my day job. So yeah, just need your help um, and anything you can do. Cool. This video and um, leave some, and please leave comments below. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, I'll answer them. And if uh, certain questions require a video, I'll make it. I want to create a community um, around comics uh, and like comic book art. Continue watching more of my videos um, and have a great day.